What's up everyone? This is Techman5150 here and today I'm going to do an update video on all of my vacuum cleaners. So here are all the vacuum cleaners that I currently have. As you can see there are six vacuums. There's the two Abyssal Power Forces, Dyson DC07, the Kirby 560 vacuum, my Kirby Centria vacuum, and the Electrolux Epic 6500SR. So, I'm going to talk about them briefly and then I'm going to plug them all in and I'm going to run them all. So, let's start talking about the Bissels. The bag Bissell is still running good. Not really much to say about that. It does have a little bit of a whine in the motor, but this Bissell Power Force is probably from 2002 or 2003, so it is a really old Bissell Power Force vacuum. Then I then we have the bagless Bissell Power Force Bissell Power Force bagless, and this one's running pretty good too. Not really much else to say with this vacuum; it, it runs perfect. Now the Dyson, as you can probably tell, it has a yellow knob now. So I recently had to do some repairs to the Dyson. I had to replace the wand latch, and then I had to replace its cyclone. And then I also needed to replace the belt and the clutch, but when I was removing the old knob to get the clutch out so I can replace the belt and the clutch, the original knob just, it literally just snapped off as I was trying to take the knob off to get the clutch out. So I had to get a replacement knob. Unfortunately, my vacuum cleaner shop only had a yellow knob in stock, so I just went with a yellow knob. Now, unfortunately, this vacuum is kind of on borrow time. If you take a look here, you can see that the cyclone and the back of the vacuum are two different colors. The cyclone is a nice bright purple as it's a replacement cyclone. However, the rest of the vacuum is more of like a brownish, pinkish kind of color. And unfortunately, the plastic on this vacuum has dried out over the years and it's become extremely brittle and it literally shatters like glass. So, I'm already starting to see some cracks in this part of the vacuum, the back of it. So, unfortunately, within time, this vacuum will probably break in half in the future. But, I'm just going to keep using it until it happens. It, it runs perfect. There is a little bit of bearing noise in the clutch after I've replaced the belts in it. But, other than that, this vacuum still runs really well. The Kirby 560, it has a little bit of a bearing problem. In fact, recently, I had to put some oil in the bearings because this thing was screeching really bad when you first turn it on. The screeching would stop after a few minutes, but this thing was screeching. This thing would let out a, a, a horrific screech when you first turn it on. And then after like a minute or two, it would stop screeching. But putting some oil down the bearings did get rid of the screeching. However, it's got a little bit of what I like to call the wet bearing noise because instead of having grease in there, it's there's some grease and oil in the bearings. So the bearings do have a little bit more noise in them now, but it doesn't screech anymore. And the vacuum actually runs a little bit better now since I've done that. Now, um, I do need to replace the bag on this. Unfortunately, the bag has actually got holes rotted through it. As you can see right here, the bag is literally rotted right here down at the bottom. And dust leaks out of this bag. And then it leaks dust out of here. I actually um, need to take this apart and I need to reseal, reseal this with something. Because um, I did have to get the fan replaced in this vacuum. But this part, you're supposed to reseal this, but this wasn't actually resealed when um, I had the fan replaced. So I'll probably have to take the vacuum part and reseal it. And then we have my 2007 Kirby Centria vacuum, which it runs perfect. I really don't have anything else to say about it. I um, polished it a few months ago with some Mother's Mag and Aluminum polish, and it's nice and shiny now. And a couple weeks ago, I washed the outer bag. The outer bag had some stains on it. There was like some brown, almost looked like soda stains down there. And they're all gone. The bag looks really good now. There are still some stains on the bag. And um, this vacuum has taken a little bit of damage since I got it a couple months ago. Like um, right here on the nozzle, you can see there. there's a scratch right here from when I was trying to run it under the uh, recliner upstairs. But other than that, though, this vacuum, it runs amazing. I mean, considering that I only bought this vacuum used, 
it runs really well for a used Kirby vacuum. And then we have the Electrolux Epic Series 6500 SR. Now this vacuum, this vacuum too has bearing noise, so unfortunately the bearings are starting to go out on this vacuum too. So I actually don't really use this vacuum all that much anymore. I mainly use the Kirby Centria, but sometimes I will use the Electrolux, but it's very rare that I actually pull this vacuum out and use it since I got my Kirby Centria. The Kirby Centria, like I said, it, this is my daily driver vacuum. I use it all the time. I love this vacuum. It has great suction, great performance, great agitation. The only downside is it's really heavy. Trying to carry this thing up and down the stairs can be a bit of a nuisance. But the vacuum, like I said, the vacuum runs amazing, like I said. But anyways, the Electrolux, yep, sadly it does have some bearing noise and it's kind of on, I like to call it duct tape life support. It's got duct tape on the hose. It's also got more duct tape on the hose down there. The wand is held together by duct tape. And even the wheel assembly on the power nozzle is held in by duct tape. So, this thing, like I said, it's on duct tape life support. But the vacuum does still run, and the bearing noise isn't really all that bad. It's really when you first turn it on that you hear a little bit of a high-pitched noise. It does go away after a few seconds. The bearings in this thing are nowhere near as bad as the 560 was before I oiled its bearings. The 560, like I said, it was screeching really bad. But um, overall, that's really it. All the vacuums are running perfect. All the, all the vacuums run great. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna plug all these vacuums in, and one by one I'm gonna run each vacuum and vacuum, the, and vacuum the carpet down here using all six of the vacuums. So let's go get the camera onto my handy dandy tripod and I'm gonna plug all the vacuums in and one by one I'm gonna run each vacuum and run it across the carpet and we're gonna see just how good these vacuums are holding up in 2018 all right so all the vacuum cleaners are plugged in and I'm going to run them off and we're gonna see how they're all performing so I'm gonna first start off with the Bissell Power Force bagged vacuum so here's the Bissell and let's see how it's running Alright, this vacuum is still running really well. Now on to Bissell Power Force Bag Liss. Alright, Bissell Power Force Bagless is running perfectly. Nothing wrong with that vacuum. Okay, now on to the Dyson DC07. I need to put the knob in carpet mode. Here we go. Dyson DC07 is running perfectly as well. Alright, now for the Kirby 560. 
Now the toe touch control is a little bit messed up on this vacuum. It kind of just like drops to the floor when I try to adjust the height. So, but anyways, let's hear how it runs. Kirby 560 is running great. And keep in mind, this vacuum is over 50 years old. So the fact that it runs so good for its age is amazing. Now, I also had to take apart the brush roll on this, and I also completely took apart the brush roll, cleaned the rod inside it, oiled the bearings in the brush roll. So the brush roll is a lot more quieter now than it was when I first made a video of this vacuum. It still has the same brush roll in it. It's just a lot quieter now. Anyways, now on to the Kirby Centria. And let's see how it runs. just as good as the day it was made. Runs beautiful. And last but not least, we have the Electrolux Epic Series 6500 SR. Oh yeah, I can hear those, I can hear a little bit of squealing in the bearings. Yeah, this vacuum definitely does have dry bearings, but it's not nearly as bad as when the 560 was before I oiled its bearings. But anyways, so that is how all the vacuum cleaners are holding up in 2018. They're all still running, they all still vacuum, and they're all still fully usable. But like I said, Electrolux... I heard a little bit of squealing coming out of it. Well, not squealing, but I heard a high-pitched whiny noise coming out of the motor when I first turned it on. Because, like I said, the bearings are starting to go in that vacuum. Now, the Electrolux is... I'm going to say that vacuum is probably over 20 years old. I'm actually... I actually have no idea how old it is. But I'm assuming it's over 20 years old. Kirby Century is 11 years old. The 560 is probably 58 years old. The Dyson is um, from 2005, so... Probably about 13 years old. Bissell is from 2006, so that's like 12 years old. And the Bissell Power Force bagged, the bagged vacuum is from 2000. It was probably bought in 2002. So this vacuum is probably 16 years old. But all the vacuums, like I said, they're all running fine and I can, I can use them all. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video on all the vacuums. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.